Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to convert a Casio FX9750GII into a 9860. So, if first of all you bring up the menu and you go down to your system settings and then select version, which is F4. Uh, you need to make sure your version is 02000700. If it's something different, this might not work. Okay, so the first program you need to install is Casio FA124. And once you install that, you run it, um, and then that application will come up. And now you want to plug in your mini USB adapter into the calculator port, like so. And then select data transfer, which is option one. And your calculator will say receiving, and now on your screen, you want to click the connect button in the FA124 application. And it will say it's receiving, and hopefully everything will work fine, and it will show up as user 1. Now if that works, click disconnect, and then on the calculator, it will tell you it has finished. Press exit, like so. And then click receive to get it waiting for the next transfer again. Now what you can do, go back to the flash folder, and then in flash, and PFX recover beta, you can, uh, this is to recover and save your... Um, current calculator status. So you probably want to back it up first, but uh, I've already done that. So if, when you've once you back it up, go to recover and browse for the FX9860 dot G1M file, and then this will start to uh, load the new version onto your calculator. Um, and you'll see here it's crashed. That is perfectly normal because it's a bit of a buggy software, but it works okay. So first of all, it crashes. And then that, what that does, it puts your calculator into OS update mode, and you get the OS error screen. And this is all normal. So all you have to do is reload the application, go back into a cover, pick the uh, file again, and this time it will ask you to confirm, click OK, and it will continue to install your new operating system. And it will update to say, now OS, OS recover 1.00, waiting. And, okay, so here I've skipped out a bit to make it a bit quicker. But it takes about two or three minutes, and then it will say ready. And then you just want to close that application on your computer. It may crash. Uh, it doesn't worry if it don't worry if it crashes. It's perfectly normal. Um, and then your calculator will turn off for a moment and then reload. And this time you're going to see it's got spreadsheet and eact as well. So here I'll just show you. Uh, if we go down to system and we can look at the version again, and it's a different version number now. Uh, it's uh, two one two hundred, and and this is because you have to load an older version of the better software. Okay, so here's just a demo of uh, me showing the natural display that this calculator doesn't normally have, so 4 sixths obviously converts to 2 thirds. And also if I go into the uh, polynomial solver, um, I can show you how this also is improved in that it gives you third answers, now instead of giving you decimal answers. Uh, so it's quite a useful tweak for your, for your laptop, uh, no not your laptop, your calculator, and uh, yeah.